together. We are also serious about sharing what we learn with others. In our relationship, Serious Play gives us opportunities to practice and develop important relationship skills in a safe and fun environment. As our first demonstration of Serious Play, we'd like to perform a stunt that involves a high degree of trust and loving support. I will now attempt to ride this unicycle. With 200 kilograms, <laughs> with my beautiful wife, <laughs> juggling on my shoulders.
partner juggling is really fun, but at the same time, we have literally shed blood, sweat, and tears learning to do what we just did, and we still have some work to do. Yeah. The key to success of partner juggling is making perfect or near perfect passes. The thing is, the best judge of each pass is the person trying to catch those passes. So because of that, we have to rely on each other's constructive criticism to improve the juggling team. Giving and receiving criticism is not easy, but it is essential for growing a relationship. It's interesting to note that play in children and animals often looks like fighting. If you were to watch one of our juggling practices, you might think we were in the middle of a big fight sometimes. <laughs> Throw it higher, lower, more spin, less spin, over here. Not over there, more inside, more outside, ouch. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> constant stream of criticism wasn't enough, add the element of big, heavy, painful clubs flying at you, and you have the ingredients of a major struggle. A big, playful struggle. <laughs> a few years ago, during an intense juggling practice full of repeated failures, I burst into frustrated tears. Bob came up to me, slightly bewildered, gave me a hug and said, Hey, it's just juggling. And as a weight left my shoulders, I realized the same thing. It is just play. We finished the challenging practice, left all that tension at the gym, and went back to our everyday lives. One of the best phrases that can be said about serious play is this. At the end of the day, it's just blank. It's just juggling. It's just acro yoga. It's just dancing. It's just play. The struggle is real. The conflict is real. The blood, the sweat, the tears, all real. But at the end of the day, it's just play. And that's what makes it such an effective way to grow relationship skills. Play lets us simulate highly charged relationship experiences like criticism, frustration, and failure in a safe environment that doesn't affect the foundational love we have for each other. And that's why we are so serious about it. For our next demonstration of serious play, we will integrate three of our favorite activities. Acro yoga, partner juggling, and swing dancing.
American author James Michener stated it well when he wrote, the master in the art of living makes little distinction between his work and his play, his labor and his leisure, his mind and his body, his information and his recreation, his love and his religion. He hardly knows which is which. He simply pursues his vision of excellence at whatever he does, leaving others to decide whether he is working or playing. To him, he's always doing both. We encourage you to find ways to creatively struggle with you and your loved ones, whether it's through gardening or rock climbing. We encourage you to cooperate and resolve conflicts, whether it's through camping or tandem biking. And we encourage you to grow as individuals and then come together as a team to create something that is more powerful than what you can create alone, whether it's through cooking or creating a TED Talk. We will leave you with one final demonstration. <laughs>